G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. Today we're going to be doing a multi-episode how to build a secure defense, like a base. So we have actually picked this location, I'll put it up on the map for you exactly where we are now. We've picked this location because James has actually just built something here recently and it looks really, really good and it's going to be very, very safe for everybody. So we're doing this on hard mode. Um, the only differences between what we're going to be doing and what you're going to be doing is we're going to be using instant book build to get this done a little bit faster for you guys. And you, if you're still starting off, you're probably going to be chopping down trees. So this is the easiest way we're going to be able to do it. It's a new thing since the 1.0 1. Um, 1 update came out is the platforms. So to be able to build on water, normally you would have to wait for the body of water to freeze. Now, I'm pretty sure this won't freeze because it's fast moving water and it's below a waterfall. So how we're going to overcome that is by using these platforms. And once you lay down your first grid, you just continue and it just locks into place. It's very, very, very easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly smash this um, little deck out. We'll be back in a second. Alrighty, all our decking is pretty much done. We have a lot of cannibal activity up here. There's muddies here constantly trying to get in. I built this little way. This is going to be our way in and out. And you know the good thing about this location is we actually got a save point right here without even bother putting yep. up a bed. So what yes. I'm going to do is quickly save because we're going to need to. Okay. So everything here was done with platforms. We actually went a little bit too low the first time. So the good thing is you could just use your platforms to go up again if you wanted to. All right, James. Let's start right, the actual um, structure. Or should yeah, we well, actually, before we just start the structure, let's get our defenses up a little bit here. Yeah. Right? Um, I'll uh, throw you. Here you go. We're going to use wood for this. James? I would, okay. Only because it's easier to get. So if you're not using any console commands, you're not using Instabook build or anything like that, your timber is going to be the e easiest thing you're going to be able to harvest. There's lots of rocks around, but that'll take you forever. So we're going to use logs in this build. We'll use yeah. stone for the structure, the bottom bit, and that's about it. Yeah, you're going to have to chop trees down like, a, like the good old days. I'm using the wrong axe for this too. Okay. Alright. Get rid of the stump. There we go. Okay. Got a couple um, of bits and pieces. So we're just doing our main entrance first. Yep, that'll be the main entrance here. That you'll just walk straight in like that, so Kelvin and and um Go away. There we go. Kelvin and Virginia can get in here. Go up here, yeah. no we got a bloody muddy already. Yeah. He's cheeky. Oh, he just drowned himself. That's why I like building on the water. Hey. If they try to jump into the water, they drown. So that's cool. All right, James, we're doing a wall all the way around here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring the wall down here. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. The, um, okay. We'll we're... need a cord log to start off with. Yep. Let's do that now. And then... Do the whole... Doing the whole way around. Yep. So we're doing this without structure damage on. Just to show you the sort of effects that this could potentially do to your base. Especially when you're getting hit a lot. But first things first, we're going to get a nice defensive wall up. Because once you've got your base, before you build anything else, the right thing to do is defend your build where you're building otherwise you're gonna get yeah. attacked constantly I'm just gonna get forever attacked here i am doing this like you what am i doing yeah <laughs> just trying to work out what the this, what we'll do is with this um entryway here we'll just chock it full of um defenses yep so they virtually have got to come through all this here to get to where they want to get to yes um, once they we, won't. Yeah, once we build this up, not that they're going to be able to get through here anyway. 
you, you can never be too sure with this game sometimes because you'd be surprised you have those ones that climb up trees they can jump like 20 meters across yeah they're crazy yeah. some of them would just be like defy the you know law of gravity and just <laughs> yeah <laughs> smash um, it up all right so what, you, what also, you see james doing is sorry james one second uh what you see james doing is he's lifting them up so he's putting a quarter down and then a full log above that so you don't have to lay down a quarter log like i did there you can just do it like this and then just but keep lifting up but you then once you got one quarter log up here and then you can continue doing that like that all right so what are we gonna do like four high yeah yeah to yep. start off with all yeah. right we'll be back on to um, finish the fence Alrighty, all the walls are done. James is building a little entryway here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a platform going all the way around. So that way you actually got somewhere where you could go. Oh, there's one there. He's getting in. Bad money. Bad money. There we go. Chop him up. Cool. So we're going to be doing a platform at the top here. Hey, James. Yep. P platform at the top so you can just sort of walk around. And uh, so you're not walking into into your defences. Mm -hmm. We should have done a gate here. Well, is it flat enough? Eh, uh, not really. Nah, I can't here. A gate would have been nice though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. That's right. All right, so. How are you doing this, James? Um, I'm just gonna lay, just gonna lay um, planks along here, and that way you can just look down into here or walk across here, and um, shoot them or or reset, reset if you haven't got um, Calvin with you. But um, the only reason Calvin will leave is to um, go for water or food. So if you've got your water. We've got water sorted out. Um, all we've got to do is worry about his feed now. His uh, plants. Yep. He's a sucker um, for a feed like that. So, yeah. a bit of so what up. I was going to do was um, bring this out a little bit further and then just put a, a, um, a uh, what they call them, a, a stair up here. Uh, so near Harfie. You want to? Are you going to put like a little area here for the fish traps? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing. We might um put a plank out. Yeah, let's uh, have a look so and see if we can do that. Hang on a second. You'll have to lower it. Yeah, that's all right. It doesn't have to be bang on either. No, we just have prefer to, it to be about a foot under. Hang on, can I? There we go. Uh, won't let me go under the water from here. Not on the same grid. Okay, so if you put a, a one down um, and just do a close to and then just run a, a rope bridge down to it. So what I might do is a platform along there. Make oh, sure it's under. It moved. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, oh, no, that's right. Okay, now I've got to get out of the water. Come on, Rock, let me up. There we go. They're still not going to be able to get to this area here, so that's good. No, no, no. So, come on, go down. All you need is one plank, one um platform lower than uh, uh, into the water, and you're right. Yeah, it's really, really hard to work when you're um floating. Floating, yeah. Yeah, you've got to get to solid ground before you can actually um. Let's get up here. Let's jump. Up. Oh, almost had it. Okay, let's jump up here. And will it allow me to? So it won't allow me to go that way. So let's try go this way. And then we need to go down a smidge. Yeah. Oh, you go down about a, a, a um, at least a, a quarter log would be handy. Yeah. I'm going to try to get right underwater. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. It's not really on grid or anything like that, but um, this will allow us to be able to get up and down there. I'll see if I can get yep. a log in, actually. 
I doubt it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Oh, yeah. It'll work. Oh, no. Ooh. I'm on the wrong spot. <laughs> Silly. Uh. Silly. All right. All we can do is some stairs going down to that. There we go. Get some stairs going from here. Beautiful. And this is where we're going to... So we don't actually really <laughs> need to leave. We're going to set yeah. up some fish traps along here. Traps, traps, traps. Where are they? There we go. That way you're going to get fresh fish all the time. I just wonder if I should... Nah. We're going to leave that open. Just going to put a few traps here to start with and to see how we go for the fish. And... Beautiful. We'll get that started because you're going to be getting really hungry by now. Um, let's get some food going. Water. you got an abundance of water here. So you could actually drink this water. And it shouldn't get you sick. No. No. Oh, okay. is that changed? Yeah, it looks like it. I didn't get sick when I um, drank it just then. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to finish this off a little bit. Get out of the way. Like that. Oops. And get some planks so you don't fall off the thing. Go down. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, wait, let me do that. I'll show you a trick to get past that now, actually. If you can't finish it off, we're going to get ourselves a stool. Or a bench. Give it the illusion that there's a thing there. Plus, you can sit on it. Come on. Straighten that up a little bit. There we go. Not perfect, but it closes off that bit that you can't, you know, do anything with. There we go. Now we've got a little area where we can catch fish and still don't have to go off the actual base itself. All right. Now we're getting up there to the platform. Beautiful. All right. We'll be back once we make a little bit more progress. Okay, so we have finished the upstairs bit here. So they're going to be coming through this, basically, is, there, is how we, you, and, you and everyone else is going to be coming through your base. So this is what James would call basically a kill trap. Once we get our actual defenses up, do we have the blueprints for the no, we've spin got to traps? Get them. Uh, no, I can't do that yet. If all we right. were in creative mode, we would. Yep, nah, that's all good. We need There's to There's muddies everywhere. There's muddies everywhere. So this place is really sort of full of cannibals and stuff, but um, it's good. More fun that way. Are we going to be doing the railing all the way along or just there? Just there. Beautiful. All right, cool. Because they, there's no sense in going higher. No. Um, because they just can't get through. This is more aesthetic than, you know, if we wanted to, we could stop the defensive bases after the corridor, after mm. the kill box. Yep. That's it. Beautiful. All right. At some stage, probably in the next episode, um, we're going to be going to get a couple of those blueprints. Because... And we'll set up the, the complete the defense. Yeah, we'll finish that bit off there. Um, yep. What we're going to do quickly is get some berries and stuff up for Calvin and yeah. Virginia and yourself as well. So yep. what I need is some planters so we're just going to set them like there might do a couple high yeah yeah like that they'll jump up won't they they will yeah 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 so i'm thinking maybe like that high that should be good enough this is just a bit of a starter for your garden that you're going to need and so, it also keeps them on, on your base. Yep. So what we're going to do and is get a bit of variety of everything. So you got your blackberry seeds. They're always good. They love them. Uh, we're going to go blueberry as well. And then what else should we use? Yeah, get those as well. And what we could do is actually put some... 
useful things like the horse tails. These are all going to be great for meds. What else we got? Snowberry seeds don't do anything. Aloe. Need some aloe. Yep. And what else? Do twin berries do anything? Which ones? Twin berries. I don't know. I, see how they've got the new snowberries as well? I'm not sure where... I saw where the new snowberries, but I don't know what they actually do. Yeah. yeah anyway, so that's the um, that's what we're going to be putting in here. So the last one, let's just put in... Um, Fireweed. That'll work. Get a bit of variety going. You're just putting a thing there. A rail. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get it, but... Yep, there you go. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it's down one. Got to go up. No, no, no. That needs to go down one. There you go. Yeah, okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so that's your starter. We've got some fish. We've got some plants. Let's get ourselves some food. Where is the dry racks? It'll be in um, storage. Found probably. It. All good. I got it. I got it. All right there. One. Let's do two. Let's do two for now. And we'll put one there. All right. Let's go out and get some food. Oh, I already got some. Let's pretend we went out and got some food. Get that <laughs> stuff drying. Get that stuff drying so you can eat it. So obviously you can cook things and everything like that, but... The, dry, is... the drying is the is the easiest way yeah. and less stressful. And you could, just once it's it. dry, you could actually put it back into your backpack yep. and just keep it there indefinitely because it won't spoil. Yep. Once it's been like dry aged, you're good to go. Yeah. So once that's all dry, it's just about to hit the water, though. That was so close. <laughs> yeah, so... No, that's, that's this is looking pretty good for a startup. That's very good for a starter. What I'm actually thinking about doing with the um, hill box, so to speak... You know what we is, do have? Oh, sorry, I'll let you finish, and then I'll get back to what I was going to say. Is um, do, like... A walkway way where where you've got to go, the cannibals have got to go in an S pattern. Yeah. And what you do is you load up um, the twirly the uh, spin traps, so that they've got to go through them. And um, you can get away with just doing spin traps up the whole corridor. So it's like you was to go. Well, that's not smart. Hang on. If you've got structure damage on. Don't put explosives near your base. <laughs> Don't do it. No fire, no explosives. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to put them out a little bit further. These come preloaded. So this is already your, in your inventory when you first start. Inventory into your um, book. This will be a good one. Wire. I think it's a stick and a grenade. You'll find them pretty much everywhere you go. Just going to put a little bit of a... A little bit of a defense before we go get the blueprints. What do we got over here, actually? You'll probably find this is actually good because this will all respawn. Yeah. Light bulbs. You got an MRE there. Solar panels there. Food. Oh, you got an IV. Nice. Yep. Spears. Meds. Food. Oh, man, this is a great location. Yep. Some uh, stuff you want to make some explosives. Food. More meds. Heaps of meds. Oh, great. This is good. Okay, beautiful. And all that will respawn, won't it? It will respawn every time you come in and out of the game, as far as I know, unless they changed it. Which... The only thing we're missing is, is a um, a water pot. Water pot we need to get, yes. So what I would probably do, maybe down here just temporarily, is grab some sticks, grab some stone or rocks. A little campfire and get one of your split logs oh. chop them down sometimes you've got to pick it back up and throw it down I can't cut this thing oh there we go oh it's hard to get a little thing on it 
All right, you can carry four at a time. There we go. Then you got yourself a little fire. Or when you get the pot anyway, it'll be nice and easy. You can boil your water up here. So let's get our pot. And you got food, water, you got everything right here. We got some water. Let's chuck it on there. Get some fresh water going. Okay. Now this is where you select what you want to cook. But you just want clean water. It's your very top one. That's boiling. Beautiful. And if you really want to get fancy, you can start putting up like um, log storage or what do you call it? Um, firewood storage as well. This is a good start to where you want to be at this game at this level. And we haven't used anything you can't get yet. James is almost filling his, finished his kill box. So you're going to have to zigzag through here. Maybe get rid of all this debris first. You zigzag through here. It's going to make it a lot harder. Because you're going to have spin traps or the grinder traps, everything like that, all placed yep. in here. And this is going to be your number one defense. And this is impenetrable. They won't get through here. They can't get over that way. They can't get through the water. This is our only way through. So the only thing I'm concerned about, James, is right yep. here. Where is that? I, I don't think they could jump. Yep. Jump over. So but what I'm going to can... do, what I'm going to do here yep. is a row of um, spikes. Yep. Yep. I think, or, um, or explosives. Or explosives, yeah. Yeah, but the, the, the spears are actually really effective. Yep. Yep, all right. Really, really effective. I need a full log. Ah, just going to steal one. Ah, I can't steal that one. You just take it out of the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So we're going to lay... Oh, you don't even need a log. What am I talking about? Just log act, mate. No, I don't even need logs. I'm just going to put sticks straight into the ground here. So you get yeah. the fire... Let's move that over to a stick. Start right here. Move across. Come on. This will take a minute. I'll be back once I finish this. Okay, so we got our sticks laid. Let's just go in front of them. So you can direct them whichever way you want the sticks to face. Look forward. They go forward. Just cut them. Oh, don't fall in the water. Yeah. And don't knock them because they're still weak until you put the stones in. Yeah. The stones are the... Damn, I just did it. Oh, well. When uh, you get a lot of traffic onto them, um, they'll, they'll do good, but you've got to keep an eye on them because... They can get worn down. Yeah, they will break eventually. They're not going to be there forever, but they will survive a fair while. Yeah, but if Kelvin's doing his job properly... He'll fix the rocks and everything like that for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're really effective, and they hurt, and they will kill them. Yep. Like, you hit that. You hit that a few times, you'll, you're dead. Yep. So you could do that just about anywhere you want. If you want to do it on the deck, you can do it on the deck, but... We will pretty much be safe. What I'll probably need to do is maybe do some down here too, eh, James? Yeah, yeah. So they, when they come near the wall, yep. they're going to be like, eh, I'm going to get smashed. There's too much debris around here at the moment. Yeah, I'm can't even trying think. to find a home for it now. Let's just plop it up here for a second out of the way. Get these planks out of the way. I wouldn't throw any of these away if I was starting this game right now. Yeah, they're all useful. Very, very useful. I'd be using every one of those little bits and pieces. I'd all be firewood. Yeah, all and firewood, those, yeah. Those uh, three-quarter logs, I'd be using all them in the half logs for supports, like up here. Yep. And quarter logs for spacing and getting all this up. So nothing, yeah. nothing goes to waste around here. Yeah. This is going to be pretty another good, sweet. Another good thing about this spot is there's a lot of rocks. Oh, yeah. There's Tons. A lot of rocks. A lot of um, 
uh, stone, a lot of trees. It's it's just, and it's got the perfect um, water supply because it never freezes. Yep, it's always a good place to be. Lots of trees too, lots and lots of trees. I wouldn't take away from the beauty of this by cutting down the trees. So what I would personally do is, once you go and get your zipline gun, is I'd be setting up, what do you call it? Hang on a second, let me find it. In your book, you got storage logs, storage four logs, sorry. Once I find it, it's in here somewhere. Get these big ones here, we'll set these up. And just get a zipline going, you know, from say here. Let's go all the way up here. And then just... I, I'd be taking it away from anything other than your base, yeah. essentially. Find a good uh, path. There we go. Can we snap it onto there? Beautiful. Now I'll show you what this will do. Is if I start chopping down trees, let's get a big axe. Yep. And not removing the stumps. Don't remove the stumps and they will regrow eventually. This tree does not even want to budge. Am I hitting it wrong? You used creative mode. Just hit them once. No, no. <laughs> I was just hitting in the wrong, er wrong area. There we go. Yeah. There's a dead tree anyway. Get all my little trees that fall down. And let's start. Oh, that's new. What's that? There's, ro it's got uh, a little there's rope yeah. attached to it now. Yeah. Ah, it's way more believable. Yep. And she is loading up. Yep. So you run down. It'll automatically go into your log holder and straighten up perfectly just for you. And um, also, if you're building, if you're building without the log hack and building it properly, I would um, put a, I'd put a, um, a what they call a, a log holder down into this section here. We're gonna have to remove this just, tree as well. Yeah, There's... and just um, go from where the original zip line starts down to here, and it'll make the building so much easier. Yeah, for sure. Let's grab all those. Yeah, make sure there's nothing in your line of path, otherwise the logs will hit it sometimes. And we'll just fill that up. Beautiful. Another good way to get trees. Just, I don't know, me personally, I just don't like the trees being chopped down, chopped down around my base yeah. because I love the look of it. So yeah. I'll take it from far away first, and then if need be, yeah, then I'll take it away. That zone. Yeah. That's plenty of trees there for you. Hey, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode, dude. Yep, looking good. Defenses, walls. Yep, I think this is awesome. It's a good start. All right, stay tuned. we got a few more parts coming up for this build. Uh, they should be coming out pretty much straight after each other. So once a day, I usually try to pump out a video. It's been a little bit funny the last week because James has been away. I've been doing some renovations. But we should be getting back to our regular scheduling now after this one. Yep. Back to hopefully once a day builds. Yes. And this is the start of our very first one. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's been helpful for a lot of people. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. If you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That'll be awesome. Bye.